Good day to all of my qualifiers, my family and friends, Dr. G here. I just want to thank you all for riding with me. Guess what? We're now in our final episode of season two. Thank you all for riding with us, sharing, liking, and just supporting us throughout this journey. Listen, you are all in for a treat. We have a few consultants with us who are going to discuss fashion, trending fashion, affordable fashion. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. As promised family, you are in for a treat. This is our final episode and season two has been tremendous. I can't stress enough how excited I am about this episode. I have two close folks to my heart with me today. I have my baby sister, well, she's my little sister. The baby is in the building, but she's my little sister, Tracy Fabric from JJR Styles. And I also have my little brother. He's, we've been together, well, we've been together over 10 years. I have Devon Linton, he's phenomenal at what he does. And I'm not gonna say any more, I'll let them introduce themselves momentarily. Devon, we'll start with you. Please tell the folks who you are, um, how they can get in touch with you, and what it is that you're basically doing these days in the consulting industry when it comes to fashion. Absolutely. So I am Devon Linton, also known as the DDRL. Um, I am a sales manager by profession, but I have an eye for fashion. So I've been able to style, you know, different individuals in the Miami and South Florida area, um, including um, Jonathan Nelson and others like Dwayne Dillon, which is a celebrity barber, um, as well as operate in different areas in the fashion industry. Um, abroad, we're concerned getting men's fashion, um, men's confidence up right. to par where it concerns just men presenting themselves well, whether it's for a date night or a nice night out or just, you know, a family night. You know, I want to make certain that all our men, especially our black men, are presenting themselves well and their fashions are up to par. Absolutely. And that's great to hear that because we know in this world that we're living in, you, uh, you get addressed how you dress. Yeah. And I, I'm definitely glad to hear, especially with black men, what it is that we have to do to groom ourselves and to present ourselves in such a manner, especially because our impression is going to be left at the place or at the table based on what we brought. And, and they always say you have seven seconds to basically send forth the message you're trying to convey with how you look. Perfect. Um, Jay Jai, can you please give us a little bit um, about yourself? and what it is that you know you basically are going to bring to the table as far as, far as the consulting fashion world as well. Well, um, I'm Jay Jara, consultant firm. Thank you for having me. We bring fashion to life as well. Um, we can either sew your design or you can purchase your items and we can put them together. Awesome. Um, I create a lot of fashion for local models, local women who are well known on IG, who are currently gaining a name for themselves. We currently cater to men and women, um, affordable wear, um, fashion from creating a design to basically buying something from the store and putting together. Awesome, awesome. So when you say creating a design, Give me more. Do you have like someone who can actually create a whole outfit? Correct. Okay, that's we awesome. So we have some seamstress and folks. Seamstress, yes. Okay. Um, I have a team that we have that creates an outfit that you may want or a suit that you may want for an awesome. event or either for an event, a gala, or just a night out with the ladies or a night out with your men. Awesome, awesome. And it's great to have you both um, here with me. I can't stress enough how elated I am to have people that I watch actually grow in the industry and who's grown with me. Um, I'm gonna start with Devon because I know for some time you've always been fashionably inclined. Without question, um, as you all can see what we're dealing with here, 
These two here came here to rock this place. If you all were here to see the full ensemble of what I'm witnessing, you guys would be amazed. Tell me, what got you into this industry to begin with? What got you started? I think for me, the eye for fashion naturally um, is what made me more enthusiastic about making it available to other individuals at an affordable rate or at a high-end rate. Just being complimented for what I put together for myself has been the opportunity to say, okay, I have the confidence to present this for someone else. Right. And then when I get the responses from those other individuals saying, you know, I got a lot of compliments when you told me to wear this or when you told me to wear this tie or when you told me to wear this suit. Right. And it just propelled from that. Um, it creates the opportunity for people to feel more confident when you can present a look for them and they feel like, okay, I look good in this, right. you know? Right. Um, it's, it, it's an eye. You have to have an eye for it. I feel like if you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't. And I think for a lot of people, they overthink it. And that's what allows people to feel like it's too hard to achieve, you know? So I just create the opportunity to use my eye to help make your vision come to life, depending on the need, whatever you want to do, whatever, wherever you want to go. I'll just create that moment and experience for you, for you to have an overall confident moment. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So how about yourself, JR? What, what actually got you started as far as, I know you did it for a hobby, um, you mentioned that before, but what really got you to say, hey, you know what, let me get my foot in the door and make this you know, come into fruition? Same thing as Devon. Walking by, oh my God, do you have a business card? Um, ever since I was working at the college, right. or before the college, um, students will come into my office and be like, hey, please, you're a plus size, you know how to put fashion together. Oh my God, what made you put the shoes with this outfit and it works? Um, Devon said it best. You have to have an eye for fashion in order to put things together, fabric, colors, materials you have to know you have to know what what is what right. you know if you're gonna wear scooby or if you're gonna wear leather right. you're gonna have to know your fabrics you're gonna have to know uh, everything about fashion is your life so a lot of people used to always give me compliments when I walk to a venue oh my god who created that outfit for you and sometimes I would come together with my design one of the designers and be like oh I like this can you put this bring it to life I was just like, okay, this material is not the best, but we'll work at it right. Some, to the point where we can use uh, uh, shower curtains and try to create a blazer with it. Wow. I have done that before. Wow. And so you have to have an eye for fashion. And a lot of plus size women always approach me, slender, curvy, skinny. And guys recently, you mm -hmm. know, started to ask, oh, do you style gentlemen? And I'm like, yes, I do. And so it was mostly women who always was like, you need to stop playing with your anointing. Right. You know, and, you <laughs> yeah. and do it. God called you. Come to do it. Hey, glory. So. Anointing. See, we're just church driven. You just saw what happened <laughs> with this. But let, let, there's something you both compelled me to get into because I have to ask this. I know this for some time. People don't know when and where to wear, wear certain things. That's true. Like for interviews for years, we've always heard for years. I've seen people come to interviews and I can't make this up. And this is why it's important to get these folks information. I have seen people wear red suits to interviews. And we all know you, you want to stick with the dark colors to be safe. Black, gray, um, navy blue. We always know that. I've seen people wear things that are really colorful to interviews and so forth. Can you explain to us based on your, those challenges that you mentioned or what compelled you to get started Give an idea to people why they should get in touch with you as far as what you bring to the table and how your business, your consulting allows people to realize, you know what, I need these folks because I'm colorblind. I'm not sure where to wear or where to wear it. <laughs> I, 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 I may be dressing as if I'm going to a club thinking that this club fit can work for the gala, but that's not for the gala. You know, understand? Or this suit that I'm wearing, that I could wear to go to uh, uh, an actual concert may not be tailor-made for church. Right. So give the folks a good reason why they need to get in touch with you based on what should be worn and where. I, I think for me, 
I usually style from a seasonal perspective. Mm. So styling according to the season. I wouldn't necessarily have someone or expect to be seen in a turtleneck during the summertime. Facts. Mm -hmm. These are obvious things that you know you want to pay attention to, making certain that you style according to what the time is mm -hmm. and style according to what the trend is. Not a lot of people pay attention to that and, and that, that's yeah. not a rule of thumb that everyone has to go by. Mm -hmm. But keep in mind, if you want to be into fashion, it's necessary and appropriate to stay up to the time. And I think for me, I make certain that whatever it is the person is doing, I consider the, the weather, I consider the season, I consider the occasion, and with all those things in mind, it gives you the opportunity to say, okay, this is appropriate for this, or this is appropriate for that. And I think because a lot of people lack investing in themselves, they don't happen to have this for that, or that for this. Like George mentioned, you want to make certain you have those base colors, mm -hmm. those base things for something as simple as an interview. They teach you that in school. You want to present yourself well. Your clothes needs to be neat. Your clothes needs to be pressed, of right. course. And it needs to be a color that is not distracting. Facts. Of course, because you want to present yourself in that moment for the interview. You want to present your personality. You want to present your credentials. So in that moment, dressing in a base color, such as white, grays, blues, blacks, browns, is more appropriate for that reason. Now, if in the occasion you're going to a fashion interview, or a modeling agency and you want to present vibrant colors and you want to present a stylish um, personality, then that's when you can kind of switch it up a little bit. But as you can see, everything is appropriate to its time. For example, a religious occasion. You can't wear, or I wouldn't expect someone to wear a prom dress to uh, church service or their we, mother's, we, we've seen it. Their mother's <laughs> gathering at the church hall. You want to be certain to dress appropriately, think that, you know, I'm going to present myself in this way. Right. How would people, think? and I know a lot of people don't care about what people think, what you look like. Sometimes that is important. How you present yourself, and like George also mentioned, the first seven minutes of that four, first impression right. is the lasting impression. Absolutely. So making certain that you're presenting yourself as to how you want to be considered or looked upon beyond that experience or that introduction. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> I go more towards um, body structure. Um, the way the person's shaped, um, it's very important. The, the seasons is important yes, as well. Yes. Because like Devon said, you can't wear a turtleneck in the summertime. You have to wear vibrant colors. You got to know what fits your body, what material fits your body, what holds your body. Some women can wear spandex. Some women can't wear spandex. For example, if you're going to a church event and you're about to do praise and worship, you can't wear certain spandex because it may fit your body structure kind of differently. So with J. Jara Consulting Firm, we tell you what would fit your body structure, what would fit you, what colors matches you. Because they feel like, oh, I'm very heavy. I want to wear dark colors. That's fine. But there are colors that are like, looks great on big women, right. curvy women, right. um, heavy set women. And also, some women that are too skinny, they're like, oh my God, this is not going to look good on me. No, you just got to find the, the right material. You got to find the right style that will go and fit with what you're wearing. And even piggybacking on that, layering, you know, if you're, you're of a skinnier, tight, mm -hmm. you want to layer, make certain that everything fits well. Um, you don't want things oversized. If you're of a heavier set, there's ways to accentuate or extenuate your figure in order for things to look appealing, you know? Then that's for the ladies or even for the fellas. Wearing things that are appropriate, not too oversized, not too tight, right. but appropriate for your, your, right. your, your body type and for what, make you, what may, will make you comfortable mm -hmm. while you're moving and grooving. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be moving and you can't even move Listen, your clothes. You can't move and you got these. And, and I can understand that because I remember my tailor said to me years ago, he was like, hey, you got to be careful who you go to because you have the same physique as Muhammad Ali. I said, what do you mean? He said, you got long arms, but your arms are big, but my torso is short. 
So I have to be real careful so I don't look wrong in certain outfits. That's a good and I love what you all mentioned because seasons are very important. And everybody, there's one thing I just want to say on the sidebar that they're both saying. And you all may just view this as a fashion segment, but they're teaching you all something. Not only should your clothes match your season, but you need to realize your season in your life and where you are so you come out and you are manifesting what it is that God created you to do. These two stepped out on faith and they're doing tremendous. And I, I, I'm, I'm airing this um, on the 30th of, of January as we're speaking live tonight. I'm, I'm saying this to you all before we approach 2022. This is something that should motivate you all because I want you all to understand these two are stepping out. They're going beyond the veil and they're not afraid to do something major. Let me ask you all one final question because I know you all have so much to offer and we have to get you all back so we can elaborate sure. some more because we, we like want to. I, I love that. <laughs> Man, you know, Devon and I like collaborating. I, was, I love Let's do it. Summer. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Do some, yeah. let's do it. Say less because we're coming back in season three with some crazy things. Yeah. Tell me, J. Jarrell, what would you say has been your challenge since opening up a business? Because we all know the pandemic has been one. But opening up a black business, because unfortunately, our culture does not teach us as black people how to support black people. We would rather spend six grand on a Louis Vuitton purse, belt, whatever have you, and then someone who's come, like these two have mentioned to you, affordable clothing, provide, well, you know, giving you examples, an expository of what affordable clothing looks like. We would rather spend eight grand on a Louis suit or, or support somebody who has Gucci or Fendi, whatever, instead of supporting our own. What would you say your challenge has been the moment you started um, in this industry of fashion? The lowball. Mm. People would love to lowball you in this industry. Um, I can speak back on um, a gala dress I've created recently um, from to toe, and the young lady felt like I overpriced her. The dress was 400 because it was gala, the material, and I do all the leg work because I'm styling you from head to toe. So I'm giving you styles for your hair and your, your, your accessory that goes with the outfit and also the dress. She said I charged her too much money. So let me ask you this. Was the 400 including the consulting? Yes. Wow. <laughs> and then that was overpriced. And it was a gala dress and I have to pay my team. So what killed me was because I wasn't well known, later on that night I went online on her IG. She posted a dress that she paid six hundred dollars for. Wow. And not to tell you, someone who knows fashion. It's not worth six hundred dollars. Wow, wow, wow. So, so, so it's it's just been a situation where you've been lowballed because people take your value um, as lower value because you don't have a certain name. Correct. Not understanding that everyone who does have a name had to start with a no name first. So that's good to hear because I know that's that that you're inspiring somebody who's thinking about starting. Devon, tell us what would you say. In your case, I think, um, like Tracy mentioned, I've had a similar experience. Now, wow. in addition to styling men's fashion, I also make clothes as well. Awesome. Um, I've made dresses for maternity shoes. Um, I've done different things with different fashions. Even the pants that I'm wearing today are a DDRL original men's pants myself. Nice. So wow. you know, even. Having a mind that can create such amazing things, understanding my own work, right. the worth of my mind. When someone tells me that, oh, that's too expensive, and that doesn't or shouldn't cost that much, me second guessing myself. Wow. I think a challenge for me is not accepting or feeling a sense of discouragement or um, feeling down because someone told me no or told me that they couldn't afford or that they wouldn't want to pay that much for something I was creating. Mm -hmm. Learning when to accept that this is not for them and the next person that experiences my worth will appreciate my worth. And I think 
piggybacking again off of Tracy, that was a, a major point. It's all about knowing your worth. And when I discovered my worth was when I could say, okay, that's not gonna work for you, I understand. But the crabs in a bucket thing is very dominant in African American cultures, black cultures, Caribbean cultures, X. Everyone's pulling each other down. Right. We'd rather support other high-end businesses or high-end um, um, outlets right. because yeah. they're, they have a big name. And of course, when, they, when you see me in this, then I'm, I'm going to be known for wearing something you know, really nice or really costly. When really, fashion is about making something your own. So if somebody makes something tailor-made to you, that's the best thing that you can yes. accomplish in the world. So if I make something for you and I make something tailor-made to your style, your, your, your size, your fit, that's something that you can take ownership of and say, hey, I got this made and it was made by a black business. And it's someone I support because I believe in them. It's something I support because I know that this is something that I want and they were able to achieve that. And considering that you have your worth and you know your worth, it'll make you say, okay, I'm glad that I can achieve that for you. You know? Awesome. So awesome. Well said. Well said. And, and and one thing I just wanna I just wanna let you all know, I can't wait for the day where we don't have to say black businesses, where people just acknowledge it acknowledge who we are yeah. on the contingency of just perfection, yeah. of excellence. Right. I want you both just have a conversation with the people. We're going to wrap this up because we do have something we want to show the folks because we're not just here to talk to you all, but we're going to give you an expository, a little show of, and when I say little, their merchandise or, or, or what they're showing you today is not little, it's just the timing is going to be little in terms of minimizing the time. But what we're going to do, because I hate when they use the adjective to describe us, ain't nothing little about perfection or excellence. Amen. But I want you all to tell the folks and, and just have a vibe, a moment of vibing for the next 30 to 60 seconds of what recommendations you give to somebody who wants to get into the industry and words of encouragement, more so how to get in touch with you as well. Believe in yourself. Push. Push. Don't give up. Work hard. Diligently. If you love your craft, you practice your craft. Right. You go out, you strive. You keep doing what you have to do. Do not procrastinate. If you want things uh, to be done, do it. That's and good. also, finish what you start. So you can reach me at J. Jaira Styles on IG and also Tracy Fab on, um, on Facebook. Awesome. Awesome. I think for me, um, a word of advice that I would give is make certain that you are confident in who you are. Mm -hmm. In order to, and if it's something that you want to pursue such as fashion styling or consulting, be confident in your craft first, in you, who you are, before you can enhance that confidence in someone else. Now it's important to make certain that anything you do, you do it to the best of your ability. Do it wholeheartedly. Contribute your heart and soul into everything you do for yourself and for anyone else. Once you do that, the sky is the limit. And believing in yourself, believing that you can accomplish, you can do what you started, you can finish what you started, and you can become who you say you're gonna be. You know? Um, for me, that's the word of advice that I would give for anyone who wants to be in this industry or even wants to just pursue a better life, you know? Having confidence in you. They can find me on the T-H-E underscore D-D-R-L, which is my business page. That is a event page and fashion page, which I offer fashion consulting, event planning, and also um, designing and home decor, and also I make clothing for women. Uh, again, I've done um, maternity shoots, I've done dresses, I've done cocktail dresses, I've done different things of that nature. Um, so I'm available to be reached and my stuff will be displayed on those outlets as well. My personal page is um, T-H-E underscore D-D-R-L um, and my business page is D-D-R-L-L-L-C. I'm also
also partnering with Le Premier Miami, which is a suit designer in the area of Miami, and they're a black designer, and some of the stuff that I've shown or will show tonight will be from that black designer as well. That is awesome. Listen, not only should you be encouraged, but I myself have been encouraged. Listen, we're approaching the end of 2021. It's up to you what you do with this day. It's up to you what you do with tomorrow. But after tomorrow, we are now in 2022. Write some things down. Write some long-term goals, short-term goals. You see these entrepreneurs, you heard their stories, you heard their struggles, and you hear how they are overcoming. It doesn't mean that you have to stay where you are. Just remember, no matter where you are, no matter what you experienced in 2021, you're still breathing. You still have life. Just remember one more and last thing. As I always told you before, and I will tell you again, and I will continue to tell you as long as I have breath, you are still qualified to win. Thank you for joining us in season two. We look forward to seeing you in season three. And I tell you, you're gonna see these two this upcoming season and more to come. Stay blessed, happy new year, live life for God, but live it to the fullest. Love you all, peace. Family, listen, you're all in for a treat. We just spoke with our interviews, we just spoke with our consultants. Now you're gonna get to experience the 2021 fashion show live on this qualified podcast. Let's go. Good day, family. Our first guest on this final podcast is none other than Miss Tracy Fabre, who represents J. Jara Styles. All right, Miss J. Jara, welcome to our qualified podcast. How are you today? I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here. And how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Listen, all of our viewers have been asking me. I've heard for some time, George, how do you manage to dress how you dress, stay fly like you stay fly? I always tell them that I go to my sister who's a consultant. I know you've been doing this for a hobby for some time, for several years actually, but let us know, you know, during this season, what made you want to come with the concept of affordable fashion, um, you know, in such a time as this, but yet still being trendy? I have been doing this for five years. I wanted to take it professionally after a few, you know, girls were like, listen, you are playing with your talent, you're playing with your anointing, um, you dress, you know, curvy women great, you dress small women great, right. you dress men, you know, awesome, so why don't you take this professionally and I decided to take a leap of, leap of faith right. and get my LLC, awesome. the consultant firm. Awesome. So now that we, we have an idea of how you started and what made you take that big leap of faith, introduce to our qualifiers, our viewers right now, what it is that you have in store for us and the examples that you have of, 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 of affordable dressing for our viewers, for them to see. It's fall winter season and women, we want to look good. We want to dress in affordable um, fashion. We want to stay, you know, within the trends. So to this evening, I have a gentleman wearing affordable um, European style and also I have a nice affordable leather dress that you can wear to either a party, outings, or you know, to dinner. Okay, and all of these outfits are affordable. I know that from time to time, people are like, what's affordable? What range would you say affordable is as far as like a European suit look or whatever have you? Well, price ranges could go from 120 to 200. Oh, that's good, especially with European suits. We know, me personally, uh, my first European suit was nearly a thousand dollars. So to hear that, you know, you're able to dress these folks, you know, within a hundred to a hundred twenty dollar right. budget, that's awesome. So let's get started. All right. The first outfit that I will be presenting is a European style pinstripe suit with a turtleneck. Because of the fall and winter season, you want to be cozy and also comfortable at the same time. Ladies, this next outfit, you can either go out to brunch with your date or leave your man at home. This is a nice fall winter outfit, leather, sexy. You can go out to brunch or you can go out on a date with your man. This outfit is trendy fall, winter. You can wear it with heels or you can dress it down with flats or even bootsies you can put on with it. This outfit 
is under $50, including the shoes. This next outfit, gentlemen, you can go out with your boys, you can go out with a lady, you don't need to bring Sam to the beach. You can go out with the guys. He, the model wearing a nice, simple, affordable, striped pants, Chelsea boots, and also a turtleneck. The Chelsea's brings it out. This is for the winter, fall season. You can go out, have fun, have a blast at an affordable price. Don't forget to follow me on IG, JGIRA Styles, for all your consulting needs. If you need to get something created, sewn, or you could get something out of your closet, we're here for you. We're here to consult you and bring your fashion to life. JGIRA Styles and Team, we are always affordable. Ladies, we did not forget you in the business world. You can always show that you can be sexy, classy, and got it going on. This next outfit is very affordable. It's under $60, and we at J. Gyro Styles consulted this client. She has a polka dot shirt with wide leg pants. You cannot go wrong with it with clear shoes. Clear shoes is always in season from fall all the way to summer. She also put a little sexy into it with a Chanel brooch. Thank you. Thank you so much, J. Gyro Styles, for such an awesome showcase. You all saw it firsthand affordable clothing at an awesome price. Listen, don't forget to follow her on all of her platforms as mentioned earlier and as listed below. Now we're gonna go to our next guest, Mr. Devon Linton. All right, George, thank you for having me on Disqualified TV. Of course, I'm here um, as a men's fashion stylist and designer to present different options for men's fashion that will give you an option or an opportunity to see what options you have available for what different occasions. All right, so I'm gonna start with a casual look, um, but this look, of course, would be an opportunity to um, you know, show a you know nice face um, for a casual occasion such as a dinner or a night out with friends or a night out with you know your girl. Just a nice designer shirt with some nice jeans. You can put this with some wingtip shoes. Um, for those of you who don't know, those are some nice dress shoes or some drivers. Um, of course, this is H and M. And this is also Le Premier, which is the um, designer that I partnered with tonight to display some of the fashions that I'm going to be presenting to you. Um, and that is a black owned business and it's made available at a very affordable rate. Um, he sells um, suits and he also um, tailors and um, designs suits for your custom need. All right, so something, something as simple as this would be great for a night out on the town with some friends and also pairing that with the right pair of shoes where there's some nice sneakers. This look is affordable. This look will cost you anything between 50 to $100. But the sneakers, of course, will be the investment. So you have your full look here, which it gives you color, it gives you vibrance, it gives you style, and it also gives you elegance. Um, you can also pair something like this for a casual night out with a t-shirt. So a nice designer t-shirt. This is affordable. Um, usually these t-shirts go for like $150, $200. But again, the jeans are like um, $50. And the sneaker, of course, would be a little bit more. But this is a nice casual outfit that you can put together to present yourself well. And you're also in the trend of what's going on. All right, so moving on to look number three. If you still wanna dress it up a little bit but still be a little casual, you can put some a nice button-down dress shirt with some nice jeans and some nice slippers. 
all right? This entire look would cost you maybe um, a little under $100, of course, because this is a Zara dress shirt. It's a very nice shirt, very good quality, and some Zara jeans. So, of course, it's available to you in stores, but you wanna make certain that you get this in your appropriate size, appropriate fit, and the style that fits your body type. Fellas, we wanna make certain that we're not doing anything out of the ordinary to look any way other than stylish, all right? Fellas, I wanna help you to look stylish on your night out, on your date night, you know, just to, you know, please your lady a little bit, or just to do something nice um, for yourself. The confidence that I try to style into any of my clients, of course, you have to accomplish that yourself. I can only tell you what my suggestions are or what my opinion is as far as your style is concerned, but you have to have that confidence. You can wear anything that I'm showing you tonight, but you have to have that confidence to show forth the look that you're wearing, of course, that I'm presenting, all right? All right, so the next one I have here is a suit, and it's a custom suit made by Lepermere, and we have a designer t-shirt uh, by Dolce & Gabbana, and of course, you want to pair this well, and as you can see, we're making levels up to, you know, high-end fashions and designer fashions, but we're also staying within, you know, affordable rates and affordable um, options. So, of course, Lepermere is a, a black-owned, um, business in Miami and that's who I've par partnered with this evening to present some of the suits that I have here tonight thanks to Michael um, Marshall who has been a great individual that has helped me with this um, experience tonight as well but as you can see I have a full suit available with a nice designer um, t-shirt and you can pair this well with some nice shoes or you can pair some Chelsea boots with this look and then of course because of the color, I would do some brown with this particular suit. Now that would be something that you would have to pay attention to because you wanna make certain that you're pairing colors as far as your, your suits are concerned, your belt needs to match your shoes, um, and different things that you know would be a little off is something that you wanna pay attention to to make certain that the look is complete, all right? And that's where I play a part. So I'm going into a no, another affordable look. This is an H&M t-shirt, of course, that I paired with some nice um, wash jeans, but you can put this also with a designer shoe to kind of give it some bling. And then if you do that, keep in mind, you wanna make certain your accessories match. If you are wearing gold in your shoes, you wanna make certain you're wearing gold. You gotta have a nice watch. If you're an accessory type of guy, you want to have a nice necklace to pair with your um, items. And of course, your belt needs to match as well. Now, I have a Gucci belt, but of course, this black band wouldn't match this white shoe. So you want to pair it accordingly. Just because it's Gucci doesn't mean it goes together. So keep that in mind, okay? All right, so now I'm going to present another suit, which is a dressier suit. Um, it's a full red suit. Now, I know sometimes, fellas, we can be afraid of color, but the way that you can kind of dumb this down, in a sense, by pairing it with something different, such as a dark denim and a nice turtleneck sweater. Now, this will give the opportunity to kind of have a dressy look that's still a little bit casual, but it's still fashionable and affordable. Now, this is an option that you can find, again, this suit is available at Let Premier, and he also has these turtleneck sweaters available, and this is some Zara jeans, okay? If you want to maintain the look, and of course, do the pants to match with the turtleneck, of course, it still presents a high-end look at a very affordable rate. This will give you an opportunity to wow everyone that you're, you come in touch with, and also create a nice experience, even for yourself, because you look good and you feel good. Now, switching the look up, of course, with some other options such as shoes. Um, of course, for the higher end, I have some Louboutins here that you can pair with this, still have a high-end experience, but at an affordable rate. And then it creates the um, 
the feng shui of the look that you're trying to create. You know what I'm saying? But then you can also switch it up and put it with some Chelsea boots and still have a nice appeal with the suit and the style and the fashion that you're, you're offering. Now this is more for fall, of course, during the holidays. I know everyone's getting prepared for their holiday parties, their holiday occasions, New Year's. Um, so this is something that you probably would gear more towards to create that experience for that, that time frame and for that season. Now for the last one, the black suit. There's so many things you can do with the black suit. Of course, we've been pairing um, different options tonight um, with the turtleneck. Of course, is a popular one for the fall winter season and of course for this time, but you can never go wrong with that. You can also put it together with a nice dress shirt to dress it up a little bit, but we'll still be a little casual and that will create the um, top man experience. That will also create the um, fly guy experience. It will also give you an opportunity to put it with some nice slippers or some drivers that will also create the experience with the, the, the look that you're going for. Of course, my go-to is a patent leather Louboutin with a black, nice black suit. Now, this black suit is a suit that you will wear um, on any occasion. I um, mean, it doesn't have to be this particular suit, but you wanna maintain or always invest in a nice black suit to be prepared for any occasion, okay? You, whether it's a dinner, whether it's an interview, whether it's um, a, a night out with friends, you wanna make certain you have some nice black slacks and a nice black blazer, okay? This, with this, is something a little bit more casual slash dressy, but then you can also pair this with a nice black t-shirt. Nice black suit with a black t-shirt. That's something that you can do there as well. And if you wanna give it some color, switch it up. Pair it with some color, you know, whether it's white or red, you want to give yourself a pop of color. And then of course the accessories are the extra. You have your belt, your designer belt. If you want to put a designer belt with it, you'll create a, a better um, look for yourself when you put a designer belt with the look. Um, the shoes of course makes a difference. The accessories, the watch, the, you know, the jewelry, whether you wear jewelry, it makes a difference. You want to make certain that everything matches. Gold with gold, silver with silver, brown, whether your belt is brown and your shoes are brown, you want to make sure those things match. You want to make sure if your shoes are black, your belt is black, and vice versa. You want to do things with the cognizant mind that everything needs to look good on me from head to toe. So it's an overall experience that you're creating for yourself or that I would be creating for you. And you, of course, will be having with other people when they see you. All right? All right? So... That's what I have for this evening. Just a brief snapshot of the capability with fashion that I can create for you. Um, this is just a you know, small snippet. But um, there are other things that you can do um, with different fashions and I can help create that experience for you. Again, my um, social media outlets are T-H-E underscore D-D-R-L and D-D-R-L underscore L-L-C. I have also partnered with Le Premier Miami tonight um, to present some of the suits that I showed you this evening. And also, I want to highlight that you, want, you can use some entry-level fashions with some high-end fashions to achieve the affordability that you want to achieve if you want to maintain um, economical or budget within your consideration. All right? Um, again, my name is Devon. I am DDRL. And of course, you can reach me through any outlet that I've presented, and I'll be happy to assist you with your fashion needs. I do styling. I do um, fashion enhancement. I do closet remodeling. I also um, create and design garments myself. Um, as you can see, the pants that I'm wearing tonight is a DDRL original, and I paired it with some nice Burberry, a nice Burberry shirt with some Louboutin sneakers, and of course, I made it affordable and I made it my own. All right, so that's what we want to achieve tonight, and that's what we want to achieve moving forward in life for better wellness and for better health and for better life. You want to refer to Divine Devon. All right. 
Good day to all my family and friends. Dr. G here. Listen, I can't thank you enough for all of the support, all of the kind words, all of the encouragement you've given us. You all keep me motivated. You all keep us going. Don't forget to visit drgeorgefabray.com. Again, drgeorgefabray.com. You can purchase our merchandise. You can purchase our books. You can even book me for any of your, your, your upcoming events. If you want a, a speaker for any speaking engagement, if you need a host for any of your bar mitzvahs, weddings, any gala, I am there at your disposal for all of your needs. More importantly, we thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share our YouTube channel qualify podcast we thank you and we appreciate you for all that you've done and we can't say it enough no matter where you are no matter what you've been through this is not a cliche but we're just reminding you that you are still qualified to win